Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom you guys. Another video. Guys, this is the video I planned on making a while ago, but I'm finally doing it. This is Apex Legends for Beginners. If you guys don't know, this is basically a tutorial for everybody out there that's brand new to the game and you want to learn as much as you possibly can. Watch this full video. I'm going to show you guys all the general and basic things that you need to know in the game in order to actually have fun playing the game without being a complete noob. So starting off, um, this is what your screen will probably look like. You have your plus signs. If you know, they only have trios right now. You click on this and you can invite your friends by uh, any of this it tells you on screen right there pretty simple so that now that you know that um you got your legends these are the different characters that you can actually pick from you have your armory which is like your weapon skins and stuff like that and you can have like it's pretty cool man you've they have pr some pretty sexy skins knowing that they're going to come out with more and then you have the store where you can actually buy packs and stuff like that you can buy legends you can buy apex coins and stuff like that but Getting into the gameplay, as you guys can see, we have training and then play Apex. You guys probably want to go to training to get a feel for the game. They basically teach you everything that you want to know there. But for now, I will go ahead and show you guys this, what it looks like and stuff like that. So starting off, click on your guys' character. You can see who your character is, your banner, what it looks like, the medals that you have, and how many kills you basically have there. Now, if you want to show off other things like no data, no data here, you want to go over here to your legends. Then click on your legend that you want to show off. Go to banners, and then you can actually pose for a different frame. There's different frames. Some of them are actually pretty cool, but I can only afford a cheap one. And then you could do different poses instead of just standing there like that. You can have your girl actually do something like this or anything like that, which is pretty cool that they have that added into the game. Then they have your badges, which is basically these little medals that I have here. And then the tracker. Now these are unlocked. All you have to do is basically unlock it by clicking square and then craft it with 30 of these little coins. Now, if you look over here in the top right, I only have 100 and five as you can see they're called crafting metals legend tokens and apex coins you can only get apex coins by buying them legend tokens you get just by playing the game normally and same thing with the crafting metals you get that just playing the game normally which you don't get many of those uh crafting metals you get a lot of legend tokens but not a lot of crafting metals so i'm gonna go ahead and unlock damage done just because it looks like a lot and then i believe we should we should do let's do let's just do kills with as kill leader you know who cares why not let's just buy that too as well all you have to do after you have those purchases is come down to track or two select that damage done come down to tracker three and select kills and then if you guys can see now if we come over to play and we click on our banner that's what it's going to look like to the public eye now that looks pretty good 206 kills 45,000 damage done and 23 kills as kill leader it shows that i'm a decent player so let's get into the game and i'm going to show you guys other things this is basically just your friends online right here you have the news which doesn't matter and then match summary from the last game that you played uh which i think the last game we placed 10th not so good uh and then i don't think it tells you the kills or anything like that but we're we're gonna go ahead and get into a game um it's gonna automatically put in us into a game with a full squad i don't think you can actually go into a solo queue yet but when the game starts up i want to show you guys the basic screen and what it looks like and everything on the screen and what it does so now that it loaded us into a game and they found players for us as you guys can see it's going to go into the select a legend screen so this is where you basically pick your character this is the placement that you're in you have to wait second or third until you can actually pick now that kind of sucks because somebody might take your legend but that's why you want to get good with other legends instead of just being one as your favorite now you can guys play with these in the training mode so you see what you want and um a little tip is this last person right here this little logo that they have next to their name that means that they're the drop master or the drop leader so they're going to show and they get to pick where they want to jump where you want to jump as a squad um again you can always jump out on your own and then here's our squad right here which my teammates are kind of noobs so this is going to kind of suck and then it shows you the champion so these people are the top players in the game so they probably won the their last game and they have the highest kills and stats like that on their out of everyone in the lobby so that's why they're able to be the champions of this game so if you want to become a champion all you have to do is win the game before and have the best stats in the lobby so you got to grind the game out a little bit now i want to go off to a secluded area so i can show you guys exactly different things i'm going to do a solo launch so all you have to do is hold the it tells you right there at the bottom of the screen it says suggest or you can actually select where you want to drop so if i hold square i'll stop following them like right now i'm not clicking anything i'm just following them if i hold square i will deselect from following them and i can do my own thing and go wherever i want now at the top left of the screen you have your mini map at the bottom left you have everyone in your game with their health or not in your game but on your team with their health and then uh the bottom left is your abilities bottom middle is your special alt ability and then the right is like your grenades and ammo and stuff like that now let me find a gun okay so this this there's a lot of different things in the game let me get some things first picked up off the ground so that way if somebody does run up on me 
I can at least try my best to survive. And then I will go over the things that I picked up for you guys. Okay, so basically going over this, as you guys can see, the top right shows squads left and how many people are in the lobby. So there's 49 people, 19 squads still alive, and you can also see the kill feed in the top right corner. Now looking down to the bottom right, you can see the weapon I have, the RE45, with the ammo to the right of it. And then to the left of that, you have this little grenade thing that you can actually pull out and throw. This is a sticky grenade. And let me show you what the, so if you throw it, it sticks to things and it blows up. Now, if you hit somebody, it does like 15 damage to the person and then it blows up and does even more damage. So it's a really good thing if you can hit. And this is just a normal grenade, as you guys can see, it bounces off the walls gets launched and blows up now a good way to see where the grenade is is as you can see on screen that little glowing orange thing that shows that the grenade is right in front of me now that we covered that i think my teammates are fighting if you guys look at their player at the bottom left their names you can see like gunshots that shows who's shooting their gun so it helps you know who's fighting and stuff like that so now that they're over here busting at somebody let me come try and help so there's this guy right here who already got knocked i'm gonna finish him off you hold square and then you can do your special ability to finish them off. Now we're going to come bust this kid. Oh, he's trying to run. Oh, no. Jeez, that person had a lot of health. All right, so we got the full squad down. Now we have this purple and this blue. These are their bodies. This is what they drop and things like that. Purple one means there's a purple item in this chest and the blue one means there's a blue item. So we're going to go for the purple one. Try to get something good. So we had a blue body. Um, let me see. Med kit, shields. And basically it's sourced out from weapons to ammo to gear to attachments to consumables. Every single one is exact same. So weapons. Wingman's probably the best gun in the game. So I'm going to pick that up. Ammo to the gear to the consumables, which is like heals, uh, shields, grenades, anything like that. Now, if you guys look at the bottom left, you can see I have uh, a, a little blue thing with the number 10. Those are shield heals. If you hold up on the D-pad, you can actually see a wheel. You have up here is the Phoenix kit, which heals 100 health and 100 shield. This is the best thing in the game. It's purple. If you find it, pick it up. This is over here is the shield battery. It shields 100 shield, which is really good. This only does 25 shields, but it does do it a little bit faster. They're more common to find. This is the same thing with the heals. And then this is 100. So as you guys can see, starting from the top of the little wheel, you have the best thing up here, moving down to the second best, moving down to the worst items you can actually have. So I'm going to need heals. I'm going to come over here to my med kit, use this, and get a full heal up. So once you use your med kit, as you can see at the right, you have to wait until the timer goes. You cannot sprint. The second you sprint, you cancel it, but you can walk, so that does help out. Looks like my teammate's over here fighting, so we're gonna we're gonna come over here and try and help out. Oh, and I'm probably dead. Let's shield. Let's go invisible, which is my ability. Oh crap, this is a dead end. Yep, dead end. So I got knocked, and as you guys can see, this is what it looks like when you're knocked. Can't really do anything but hold R2, and it puts up a shield. There's a lot to the game to learn. I'm trying to cover it all as I'm playing the game with you guys, but I think I basically covered a lot, a majority of it. Um, let's leave game. One thing that you don't want to do, actually, is leave game like how I just did right there, because your teammate can actually pick up your banner, and you can respawn. Now, if people ask, well, how do you respawn in the game, I'll show you a clip of that right now. So as you guys can see, basically, when you go down and the person thirsts you and you're no longer crawling the other person can actually run by if he ends up winning even though you're dead he can pick up your banner by going over to your chest that you dropped and running over to one of the green stations on the mini map now once he gets to the green station he just goes goes ahead and waits there lets you respawn in and you lose everything that you had before you died so you have nothing left you basically start from scrap and you have to go get new weapons new armor everything like that so if you're wondering how you respawn in the game that is how you do it the second your team dies and gets thirsted pick up their banner and take it to a station something new you guys can actually learn is right here from this station uh as you guys can see you cannot select the same uh i guess hero or whatever they call it as somebody else so somebody put this girl i cannot pick the same person so i'm gonna have to go with somebody new and this is my favorite skin or character the wraith uh nobody uses him so i'm actually pretty happy with that because nobody ever steals it from me Ooh, I just look like a tryhard with freaking 46,000 damage done, 200 kills. So now I'm the jump master, so people have to do where I want to go. So if I pick a spot like over here, somebody wants to go over there, so I'm going to mark it and I'm going to say, actually, they marked okay for this way. So we're going to jump now and they follow me. As you guys can see, if I go down, they go down. They just stay right next to me. But we have this little uh, smoke coming from our back that can actually help you look around to see where other people are. So for instance, there's purple over there, orange over there, everyone's going that way. So it helps you actually see where certain people are in the map and where they're trying to land, which actually is very good and help let us land real quick and find some loot. So this right here is a shield cell, ammo, ammo, gun, 
and a choke. So basically, the chokes and the attachments that come with the gun, those are going to take a little bit to get used to. You're going to have to actually play the game a little bit to find out everything because there is a few things in it. But other than that, the ammo is actually very, very simple. It's not like in Fortnite or uh, PUBG or anything like that where you had to know what gun accepted medium ammo and what gun was a heavy and what was light. Mic, so basically, uh, the weapons are very, very easy to distinguish. As you guys can see at the bottom right, this gun has a red glow to it. That means it takes shotgun ammo right no, here. Am, now, this one right here, the RE45, is yellow. This takes right here light rounds which it basically just goes by color so it makes it very easy for you to distinguish what you need all you have to do is switch weapons and see okay i need red ammo and yellow ammo and you can call that out to your friends make it things a little bit easier rather than being like do you have light ammo and everyone's like wait which one's light again so you just say the color and it's a lot easy when you're starting at the game now these these are little balloons you can actually take these all the way to the top and you can actually redeploy and go fly wherever you want um, just like this and now I can fly anywhere that I want but again you only you can only go so far this is this is the station the respawn station if somebody dies that's where you have to go to actually make them respawn back into the game but it sounds like my teammates giving call outs that people are on them so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and try and help them out a little bit I'm trying to think of anything else I can actually give you guys tips for uh, one thing is marking as you guys can see if I push R1 I can mark a location or where we want to go if there's a person over there and I actually mark them and put my Put my marker on the person it'll automatically be red and it'll call out to my teammates that somebody is over there so if you see somebody mark them and then it'll give the whole call out to all your teammates now you can of course do different things like for instance if i want to go ahead and ping this one is someone's been here let's go that way enemies over there i can do looting this area attacking here going here defending this area and watching here so this is basically it gives you a lot of different options if you guys don't have a mic or anything like that makes things a little bit easier as you guys can see at the bottom i'm going to show you what my ability does so for every person has their own ability but this one is a portal so i'm going to put a portal there and then i can come over here however far i want the rift energy that you guys see on the screen shows how far i can actually go if, how many steps i can take so i can do these little circles like this go this way i can do a big circle and i can come this way and set it there so basically this is like a rift portal if i go through it i'll go through exactly what i just ran and I'll spawn over here super quick. Now it's very useful in certain situations. You just gotta know how to use it. And again, each character has their own ability. Now my L1 ability that you see, um, this is going invisible. Again, every character has their own ability. Mine is invisibility for a little bit and then it leaves. You can't do it for too long. You can only do it for like maybe what, three seconds, two, four seconds maybe. Other than that, I mean, I think that's basically it. If you pause, you can actually see the uh, everything that you have. Pause, you can see your weapons that you have up here. This is what you have in your backpack we can open up more slots if we get a bigger backpack this is the armor i have this is the shield if i get knocked down this is the shield that i can actually use and here's my backpack the level backpack i have we can go to squads check our other teammates it doesn't really do anything but check their stats go to legends and it tells you exactly what your character does but now that we have that covered let's go ahead and try and help our teammates out oh cool. so i'm gonna mark as you guys can see i marked it and it marked red that shows that somebody is over there oh i'm actually hitting them for shots i'm gonna push up a little bit Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm surrounded. There's one guy right here. Okay, they're both dead. Easy shots. Okay, so as you guys can see again, this is purple. Loot it out. Pick up the weapons you need. Now, this red circle that you see next to it means that you do not need it or you cannot pick it up. So if I try to pick it up, like this backpack, it won't be picked up because I have a better backpack than that one. So it makes looting a little bit easier so that way you can actually loot super quick. You can go through it and if it's got that red circle, you basically don't need it. So I'm going to switch to the wingman because this gun's better. And I do like this EVA 8 auto a little bit. Okay, so now that I have two different weapons, because you can only carry two weapons, I have a green weapon and a red weapon. So I'm going to need to drop all these ammos that I don't need. So everything that's red means I cannot use it. So you can either drop one of them. As you can see down here, there's like four or four different marks or bars that you can fill up. That shows how many you have in that category. I could drop one or I can drop the whole thing, which I'm going to just drop basically everything that I don't need. Oh, they're shooting from kind of a far distance. So as you guys can see, there's a person over there. I marked it just so my teammates can see where they are. Hit that guy for 45, 45. Oh man, they're letting me up. So as you guys can see, as my health bar, you see the blue health, and then you see the top health bar, basically, and then the bottom one. The bottom one's my health, the other one is my shield. So I'm going to need more shield. I'll heal up, and that green bar shows what's going to heal up. It's kind of a lot to take in, but um, if you watch this video more than once, you'll actually be able to learn things a lot quicker. Oh, this guy's got purple. 
See how I hit him for purple numbers? That means he has purple shield, which means he has really good shield. I gotta get out of here. I'm dead. The storm's gonna kill me. Dang. That was my fault for not paying attention to the storm, but the good thing is that I can show you guys is I can actually back up. Hopefully, yeah, my other teammate's gonna die. But if he was able to kill him off, I would have been able to actually be resurrected even if I died in the storm. So it's not that bad of a thing. I just gotta pay attention to the game a little bit more. But there you guys have it. Other than that, it is a battle royale game. It's pretty simple. You know the basics of any battle royale game. I just wanted to bring you guys this video to show you guys the general basics for anyone out there that's brand and new to the game. You have a better idea of what it is. Again, training mode does this for you. I don't know why I did this video. A lot of people were requesting it. So I decided you know what let me just do a video for you guys thank you guys so much for all the love all the support see you guys in the next video peace